Hello and welcome to Unix Shell Scripting by the Virtual Training Company. My name is Mark Virtue. I will be your guide and narrator through the entire course. Let's begin immediately with Chapter 1. In this Chapter 1, the introduction, I will discuss what this course is actually about, whom it is for, and what you can hope to get out of it. I will also describe any prerequisite knowledge that you must have in order to complete this course, and there isn't very much, and I will introduce some terms and concepts that we will use throughout the remainder of the course. Let's begin. First and foremost, this course is a programming course. You will learn how to create programs using the Unix shell. The programs that you create will be called Shell Scripts. Because this course is a programming course, it is necessarily relatively technical. By the end of the course, you will be able to consider yourself a programmer, regardless of whether you were one before you started this course. Also, I will describe to you several useful Unix programs that you can use as tools within your Unix Shell Scripts. These are all standard Unix programs, some of which you may already be familiar with and some of which you may not. They include grep, test, there is actually a Unix program called test, and expr. We'll actually learn quite a few, those are just some examples. With an arsenal of programs such as these three at your disposal, the shell scripts that you create can be more powerful, more flexible and more useful. So to summarize, specifically we will be learning the syntax and the features of the Unix shell as well as several other useful Unix utility programs. Together they will enable you to create a wide variety of useful Unix shell scripts. Now a brief word on compatibility. The techniques taught in this course will be compatible with all brands of Unix. If you're not aware, there are actually several brands of Unix on the market. For example, Solaris by Sun and AIX by IBM. Not to mention, of course, the extremely popular Linux, which is a version of Unix that is available for PCs and has the wonderful virtue of being free. The shell scripts you create during this course will be able to run on any version of Unix. The reason for this is that every version of Unix on the market sports a version of what we call the Born shell. Born is spelled B-O-U-R-N-E as you can see at the bottom of the slide there. The Born shell is one of the many Unix shells available in the world and it is the most popular. It is found on all versions of Unix. It is a very powerful and robust shell and for these reasons virtually all the shell scripts in the world are written using the Born shell. So of course we will be focusing on that shell as well. We'll discuss a little later on in this chapter the various varieties of shells available. But now we'll have a quick word on whom this course is for. The audience for this course if you like. What are the sorts of uses that you would put Unix shell scripting skills? Well, there's a few of them. There's three, in fact, three main uses for Unix shell scripts, the first of which is automation. Automating common tasks that you perform. If you are a regular user of the Unix shell, you will undoubtedly have a collection of tasks that you need to perform on a regular basis. If you are a competent creator of Unix shell scripts, you can dramatically cut down on the time it takes you to perform these tasks. Instead of having to remember and type in a series of commands at certain times during the day, you can create yourself a script that does it for you automatically. Secondly, we have Unix system administration. Not all of you listening to this particular CD course will be charged with the administration of a Unix system, but if you are, you'll stumble across shell scripts all the time. It is, of course, absolutely vital that you understand what a Unix shell script is and how to write or at least modify one yourself. I've never encountered a system administrator in Unix that does not have a reasonable grasp of shell scripts. Thirdly and finally, there's another use 
for shell scripts that has developed over the last few years and that is the enhancement of websites making websites either interactive or data driven or automated in some way via the use of CGI programs. Now the CGI programs that are used around the world come in many different flavors some of them have been written in C, some of them have been written in Perl and some of them have been written using the language of the Bourne shell. We will have a very brief look at the specifics of CGI programming using the Bourne shell in this course but that's not the main focus of this course. The main focus of this course is of course to give you a thorough grounding in Unix shell scripting. If you understand the framework already of CGI programming then you'll be able to fit your Unix shell scripting skills in there quite easily. If you don't know much about the CGI framework then I suggest you obtain another course on that. I would expect that of all the people out there listening to this course probably 90% of them would fit into the one of the above three categories or perhaps more than one of the above three. Finally let's have a look at the prerequisites for this course. Firstly we need a working knowledge of basic Unix shell operation. In other words, I need you to understand how to log in to Unix and use basic shell commands at the shell prompt. Specifically, you need to know how to log in and out. You need to know how to type in the name of a command and the parameters for a command. You probably would need to be familiar with some basic Unix programs such as ls, ps, who and so on and it is of course necessary that you understand what a file is, what a directory is and how to set about creating and naming files in Unix. Now I guess if your use of shell scripting was going to be for CGI scripting then you really wouldn't need to know how to log in and out of a Unix system although the other three points are of course necessary. Another requirement is you need to have a familiarity with some text editor I expect that most of you will be creating your scripts on an actual Unix system and so you'll need to have some familiarity with a Unix text editor. I would imagine that most people would be using something like Vi or Emacs it doesn't really matter which. Obviously you're just simply going to need some way to actually create the scripts. Now of course you could create them using another operating system like Windows or Macintosh or so forth and then transfer them onto your Unix system using FTP or something similar and if you are going to do that then that's perfectly okay as well. So anyway those two points that I've mentioned there are the only essentials that you need to know in order to begin this course. It is also useful if you have any kind of familiarity with standard programming concepts such as variables, loops, if statements, subroutines and so on. And I'm talking about regular procedural programming here not object oriented programming. If you have a knowledge of such concepts then you'll find this course quite easy. If you've never done any programming before we will actually teach these concepts from first principles but it might take a little longer to gel in your mind. Anyway, that's all. It's not a particularly onerous list of prerequisites. Let's move on.